Some people who've been exposed to COVID-19 may no longer need to be tested for the virus. Now that's according to newly updated guidance from the CDC. Dr. McGeorge is here to explain what this all means. Doc. Well, Devin and Karen, previously the CDC recommended testing for, and these were their words, all close contacts of persons with SARS-CoV-2 infection because of the potential for asymptomatic and pre-symptomatic transmission. Now, clearly they recognize the need to test even in the absence of symptoms. Well, now they are saying without symptoms, testing is not always necessary. If you have been in close contact within six feet of a person with a COVID-19 infection for at least 15 minutes, but do not have symptoms, you do not necessarily need a test unless you are a vulnerable individual or your health care provider or state or local public health officials recommend you take one. That's the exact wording of the new guidance from the CDC, basically saying if you've been exposed but don't have symptoms, you might not need a test. It's not clear what data the CDC is relying on to justify that change, and public health officials have concerns that this could allow people who are contagious but asymptomatic or simply haven't developed symptoms yet to infect other people without knowing it. In fact, the same guidance document explicitly states, it is important to realize that you can be infected and spread the virus, but feel well and have no symptoms. Now, practically speaking, while this does have the potential to decrease testing for the broad public, it doesn't mean groups like schools or critical infrastructure employers wouldn't still require testing. Now, I want to make it very clear, testing after a potential exposure is still recommended, regardless of symptoms, for vulnerable individuals like older adults and anyone with chronic medical conditions. Also, this update does not reference quarantine or isolation after an exposure, but another section of the CDC website does in fact recommend it. Back to you. All right, we appreciate the update. Thank you, Doc.